What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC Fight Night Atlantic City, New Jersey recap video happened last night. I hope you saw it. It was another good event. You know, this little string of events they have coming forward. So far, they've been delivering with the last two, so check them out. Let Someone let me know exactly what number Fight Night this is. I think it's 129, but I'm not sure. I've lost track. Anyway, getting into this, you have to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where I make last minute picks all the time, and I did for this event. I made three last minute picks on Twitter and Instagram, and I got two out of three, so above 500 from me. Like my new background, I'm loving this. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> let's get into it. First up, I did not make a pick on this one, but honorable mention for uh, Dan Hooker. He defeated uh, Jim Miller in the first round via a heck of a knee to the face. He didn't even have to jump for it. Knocked Jim Miller all the way out. Sleep, haven't got a chance to do that in a while. And it, uh, it was Paul Felder who interviewed him in the Octagon afterwards. He asked him, who would you like next? And he said, you know, I'm standing across from somebody who's ranked, who doesn't have an opponent. And Paul Felder was like, wow, I've been waiting for somebody to have the gall to call me out to my face. So let me know who you think Hooker should fight next, if it should be Felder or someone else. I do think he uh, gets should get a ranked opponent next. But again, I did not make a pick for that. That was just an honorable mention. Also, uh, Willis defeated Sherman in a three round fight. Again, did not make picks for those. Now onto the fights I did make picks for. The first one I did not get. I chose Tiago Santos to beat David Branch. He did not. I knew this, whoever started first would probably have the upper hand and this could end at any moment and that was David Branch. In fact, the punch that connected that started, it didn't even land that hard. It was just well placed. Knocked uh, um, uh, Santos down. A couple of shots later that probably weren't even needed. <laughs> the ref stopped the fight. Nice, brutal, explosive uh, victory for David Branch. Who would you like to see him fight next in a uh, division that's kind of open right now? So who would you like to see David Branch fight next now? Next up on the co-main event, I got this pick. I chose Frankie Edgar to beat Cub Swanson in their rematch, and he did, although it was not as dominant. This was a three-round unanimous decision in his favor. This did not go to the ground at all. I was nervous the whole time. We were all wondering how Frankie was going to rebound after being KO'd for the first time by uh, Brian Ortega, and he rebounded well. I wanted a nice, safe victory. I wanted him to take him down, round a pound, molly him the way you did the last time. This was not as dominant, but again, he did win. He just outworked him. You have to have a very high offensive output to beat Frankie Edgar, even if he's playing your game. Cub had his moments. There was moments where he connected, moments that made me nervous, but uh, Frankie just controlled the center of the octagon. He pushed the pace. He probably outlanded him on every single stat if you look at it from punches landed, significant punches landed, all of that. So he, he just won. It just wasn't as uh, uh, devastating as the first victory, but it was a nice, good, solid victory back from being KO'd for your first time. Um, so who would you like to see Frankie fight next? He says he wants his title shot back, and I'm actually inclined to say give it back to him look he put it on the line when he didn't have to, to uh, uh, when Max Holloway went down David or um, Ortega is undefeated so it's not like he lost to like the number 11 guy or something like that um, yeah let him get the winner of uh, Holloway Ortega I, I, you know what, what do you think who do you think should be next for Frankie Edgar uh, now main event and I got this pick too I was very nervous because I thought they were so evenly matched but boy did I get my pick of Kevin Lee to beat uh, Edson Barbosa I think this kid might be the real deal I think so um, he took him down ground and pound in a much more brutal fashion than it could be uh, Norman Gomedov did. This almost ended in the first round. He opened him up by the first round. It was brutal. Um, the first two rounds went this way. The only success Barbosa actually had was in the third round where it, oh my gosh, was it almost it. Okay, he landed, I believe it was like a wheelhouse kick, roundhouse kick. Someone let me know the exact name of the kick that he landed on Kevin Lee, which had him on chicken legs. Even when, <laughs> even, I, 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 it, this, I mean, wobble, chicken leg dance, cross, wobbly, oh my God, like a little baby bird, and had the uh, wherewithal to clinch, to grab him. And even when he grabbed him, he was still on chicken legs. <laughs> even when he grabbed Barbosa, but he was able to push him back to the cage and take him down and actually do damage with the ground and pound. His mental toughness uh, through adversity in this fight was impressive. It was. I think he might be the real deal at 25, always improving. I wouldn't even be opposed to him fighting Tony Ferguson again, especially since he was actually winning that fight before he got submitted. I think he might be the real deal. So who should Kevin Lee fight next? Do you think he should get the winner out of whoever Khabib fights next? Khabib, Tony, uh, um, Eddie Alvarez is out there, but I definitely think he should get top five. He, uh, he's up there in that title contention. So let me know how you did on your, uh, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> This fight ended <laughs> in the fifth round. So the, the third round, 
is where uh, Ed, uh, Barbosa had his most success. Kevin Lee was able to come back in the fourth round and able to take him down, ground and pound some more. And in the fifth round, this fight was actually stopped due to a doctor stoppage. The gash was over, um, I believe it was uh, Edson's right eye was opened up so big. You, it was like opened up to the white meat. It was completely bleeding all in his face. So the doctor stopped the fight. And you have to uh, side in the favor of the safety of the fighter. So I'm never going to disagree with the doctor stoppage. So this was brutal. This was ugly. Now, who <laughs> would you like to see Kevin Lee, the Motown Phenon, fight next? Let me know how you did on all your picks, any injury updates, and uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where I do last-minute picks all the time now. And uh, I'm on Snapchat now. Subscribe, like, talk to me, take care, and goodbye.